Hello friends, welcome once again. And I want to tell you in between my travel videos, I would like to share my views on different topics, different subjects. So today I'm going to tell you something about uh, one of my favorite subjects. And uh, this is about an article written by one Mr. Alex Chan. Mr. Alex Chan is a theoretical astrophysicist at uh, Washington University, St. Louis. But, uh, I want to tell you what I'm going to talk about. I'm going to talk about uh, quantum physics. Quantum physics is the study of matter and energy at the most basic level. It is about how to manifest using quantum physics. He goes on to explain what if you could change your physical reality with just your thoughts. Maybe you can manifest uh, health, wealth, happy career, dream career, and successful relationship. Yeah, this is called manifestation. And we can learn how it works through quantum physics. It is all about how our thoughts affect the physical world. Yes. Quantum physicists have taken the physical matter and observed it under a powerful microscope. As they go deeper and deeper, deeper details, minor, uh, smaller details, they can see atoms, then protons and neutrons, then quarks, then electrons, then finally they, they could see only waves, just energy waves. In other words, all physical matter in this world arises from the non-physical wave energy most of us learn that an atom is a nucleus with an electron orbiting around it according to the Newtonian model of atom. But he says that is incorrect. Quantum model says electron exists in invisible cloud energy around the nucleus. The observer effect shows that when an observer focuses his attention on any particular location of that energy cloud, the electron will appear there. And if there is no observer, the electron returns to be non-physical energy spread across the whole energy cloud. The conclusion is that our focused thought causes wave energy to condense there and become matter. Yes, this proves a link between thought and matter. Another law of attraction explains that we change our electromagnetic field by changing our thoughts and emotions. This will attract a new reality from the quantum field. Of course, the thought must match the feeling. And then we have to hold the state of being uh, long enough for the manifestation to occur. And therefore, manifestation has uh, four steps. First is uh, be very specific on what you want to manifest. Second, feel right now, what would you feel if you already obtained that manifestation, like uh, joy, happiness, and love. And third, hold the hold on that state of being elevated feeling, and uh, finally wait for the result, wait for the surprise. Thank you, guys. Thanks a lot.